It was a court hearing that took a bizarre turn. An assistant Commonwealth attorney thrown in jail for refusing to name a witness in an attempted murder case. Private Sider John Burkett tells us what the Commonwealth attorney and judge say happened. Unusual drama played out inside the Manchester courthouse in early August. A rift between Judge David Hicks and Assistant Commonwealth Attorney Katie Groover over a disagreement about revealing the name of a key witness in an attempted murder case. Groover refused to give it up to protect that witness and was then held in contempt. Commonwealth Attorney Colette McKeachin tells us, In this case, as ACA Groover repeatedly tried to inform the court prior to being held in contempt, the Commonwealth was moving to null pros or dismiss the charge. Since there was never going to be a preliminary hearing, let alone an actual trial on the charge, the defendant's Sixth Amendment rights to confront his accuser did not attach. This was a highly unusual and regrettable circumstance that could have been completely avoided had the court exercised its inherent discretion to hear the Commonwealth's motion to dispose of the charge before ordering ACA Groover to name the shooting victim in open court. I can't think of a time where I've seen um, a court hold a prosecutor in contempt for failing to abide by court order. However, in Judge Hicks' recitation of facts, there's no mention of the Commonwealth asking for the motion to null pros, which CBS 6 legal expert Todd Stone says most likely led to a big misunderstanding. There's legitimate reasons to fear for the safety of your witnesses. It's it's it happens all the time where they're put in harm's way when a defendant learns of who they are. So that's not unusual that she would feel compelled to make that motion. Um, and then, you know, the court side, if you do have a hearing and the order is to tell the prosecutor to turn over the name and the prosecutor refuses to do so, then just on its face without any more information, I can understand a contempt coming from that. The question here is, what else was going on? Was there a motion to null process dismiss that we can't piece together here? That's just something that, that could change the dynamic. Groover was temporarily jailed and fined. She appealed to the circuit court where the case was dismissed late last week.